Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Lukowski and I'm the Curator of Education here at the Georgia Southern Museum. And I'm also a paleontologist and today I want to tell you about one of my favorite weird animals that used to live here on Georgia's coastal plain back in a time period called the Pleistocene. The Pleistocene is also known as the Ice Age and it went from about two and a half million years ago up until about 10,000 years ago. And during that time, here in Georgia, believe it or not, we had giant ground sloths living. Now, you might say, gee, that sounds really weird. Sloths living in Georgia? And I wouldn't blame you, because if you've ever been in the museum, you would know that for the majority of the coastal plains geologic history, we've been underwater. And we can tell this by looking at the different rock layers and the rock types in them, as well as the different fossils. However, by the time of the Pleistocene, the climate got a lot cooler, and the shoreline, which had been changing over time, changed dramatically. In fact, the shoreline extended out about 100 miles further into the ocean from where Savannah is today. Also, we know that tree species that now currently live further north were able to thrive in, in southern Georgia and on the coastal plain during this time. And this makes a really good habit for the ground sloth. Now, you might also say, well, don't sloths live in South and Central America? And that's correct. The tree sloths that live today, that is where they live. And in fact, South America is where sloths and their relatives originated. However, during a period of time known as the Great Biotic Interchange, or GABI for short, animals were able to move freely between North and South America. This didn't happen completely until the Isthmus of Panama closed about 2.7 million years ago. However, some species were able to island hop a little before that, but not our giant sloths. They had to wait until the Isthmus were closed. We didn't even know ground sloths lived in North America until fossil find here in Georgia on Skidaway Island. They found the remains of a sloth that ended up being named Aromatherium. Aromatherium is one of the largest sloths that lived in North America. It grew up to 20 feet long and weighed up to three tons. That's larger than an elephant. And so you can still go to Skidaway Island and see the skeleton of, of a sloth today, while the actual bones are housed in the Smithsonian. But since then, we found all sorts of different species of sloth and even more of the sloth Aromatherium, and we have some of those teeth in our collection. So sloths, not only were they much bigger than their tree sloth cousins, but they also had more robust bones, they had giant claws on their, their front limbs, and they had a large snout. There is some research that suggests that certain species of sloth also um, were able to hear in very low frequencies. And this would be a very helpful adaptation if you were a burrowing animal. And there's also evidence that suggests that certain species of sloth were able to carve giant tunnels in South America. Um, sloths lived in a variety of habitats, but they were all herbivores. They all ate plants. So anything from leaves and shrubs and parts of plants to fruits like avocados. In fact, if you like guacamole today, you should thank a sloth because they were one of the few animals large enough to actually eat the avocado and spread those wild seeds naturally. If it wasn't for human intervention, avocados would have gone extinct along with the giant ground sloths. And that would be unfortunate for those of us who like avocado on our sandwiches. Sloths also have really bizarro teeth. So all of us mammals, we have teeth that are coated in enamel. It keeps our teeth hard and we want to keep those teeth safe and, and, and have them live throughout our life because we only get two sets of teeth. Well, sloths, they don't have that enamel coating, so their teeth are much softer than, say, your teeth or my teeth. So their teeth never, ever stop growing, which is pretty bizarre, but they wear those teeth down through the foods that they eat. And you can see that in some of the teeth we have in our collections. So if you want to know more about what Georgia was like during the Ice Age and the other bizarre animals that lived alongside the giant ground sloth, come visit us at the Georgia Southern Museum where you can learn more.